If you're ready to harness the power of your communications data, blast off with Nihilus today. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Coding with Nihilus, the live stream where we talk about programming, APIs, and more. So if you remember the last episode, and I hope you watch it, we started doing some sort of uh, checking it out Python full stack frameworks. So last week, we did a form that we used to send an email using nice GUI. And today, we're going to use Reflex, which is actually the framework previously known as Pinecon. So today's episode, it's how to send an email using Reflex. But before we go into that, let's remember that Nylas is going to be present at We Are Developers World Congress, which starts today. So it's July 26 to July 28 in Berlin, City Cube. So Nylas is going to be there. My friend and colleague, Ram, is going to be there talking about hacking face and how to use Nylas to reply emails using AI. So it's going to be awesome. And then you can use the hashtag we are devs. So before we start, there's one more thing I need to remind you of to like and subscribe. Click on the little bell to get notified. Like our videos, subscribe so we, got, we can get more subscribers. And especially like our videos. If you like them, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. You can also leave comments if you're watching us live on YouTube or LinkedIn. I'm going to be able to post your comments here so people are going to be able to see you. So let's start sharing our screen. And here we have, I'm going to run Reflex Run. And it's going to start using Bandjs and a bunch of things that Reflex use. And, oh, okay. So just give me a second. Seems to be a little bit of a problem with my credentials, which happens sometimes. So let me fix that real quick. Shouldn't take too long. And I'm going to take the time just to let you know. Uh, if you remembered on the last episode, supposedly, um, our nice GUI application was going to display a notification once we were able to send the email. Uh, that didn't work last time. But that's just because, if you remember, I actually make my browser screen bigger and the notification is at the very bottom. So that's why we couldn't see it. So it's working. That's fine. It's just that my screen was just way too big. Okay. I'm, I'm dedicating now. So give me a second. Okay, these things that happen live. And I check this in the morning, but I need to refresh my token. So it's going to be a sec. And I'm going to get a text message notification. So at least you can see that we are secure in the things we do. Uh -huh. Perfect. So let me do this. Okay, I'm gonna be able to start in a second. I need to update all my tokens, which I just did. And that should be it. So let me reshare my screen. And sorry for the small interruption. OK, we're going to run it again, reflex run. Starting reflex acts, perfect. Ban install, like I told you, so just in ban.js to, uh, because reflex uses React. So we just expand JS to just create all the uh, React on the front end. So let me see, it's localhost 3000. 
So I'm going to put it here. And we have kind of like the same form we used to have in nice GUI. So we're going to have the recipient, name, email, subject, and body. And we can put it manually, or we can choose it from our contacts. So I'm going to choose, as always, myself. I'm going to say here, hello from Reflex. And we're going to say we're sending this email from the coding with Nylas live stream using Reflex. And you can see here we have this little green thing. I'm just going to make the screen bigger. This green thing here is I haven't been able to set up notifications using Reflex. I mean, I have been able, but not in this kind of example. So what I thought is, why not I just put a little uh, label, I put it green, and there I can put the message. So it works at notification service. So I'm going to send the email. And we should be able to see here, email was sent successfully, which is good. Uh, we're going to go into our mailbox, and here we got Hello from Reflex. We're sending this email from the Coding with Nightlass live stream using Reflex. So it's cool. So if we were to send another email, and for some reason we had an error, it would be displayed here. And I think I mistyped successfully. Yes. Oh, no. I think success. Oh. There was a missing S, so we can correct that in the source code, which we're going to uh, see in a second. So here, as always, we need to import our dependencies. Uh, reflex as our X, also dot M, so we're going to store our credentials. We're going to need Nylas, obviously. This comes from when we create the Reflex application itself. It just going to grab the configuration, and here, Let's go first to the UI, and then we can go back. So this section defines the UI. So we want it to be center. We also want it to be a stack. Uh, and we, we're going to create the form. So here we're going to have the title. We're going to have the recipient. We're going to have a select or combo box where we're going to have uh, all our contacts' names. And from there, once we select one, it's going to set the email, so the name and the email. So, for example, I select here Randy Savage. So it's going to grab Randy Savage and his email. Here we're going to have uh, one label for the name, email, subject, body, etc. And here we're going to have the submit button, which is this one here. And down below, this will work as our notification system, which is simply an input that is not modifiable. So we cannot do anything here, just read it. So we go back a little bit. This is when we first run our application. It's going to create a list to hold all the names and also a list to hold the emails. So we're going to go to the contacts endpoint. It's going to go into our address book. It's going to grab the first five for our CRM group. It's going to loop them, and it's going to concatenate the given name plus the surname. And it's also going to store all the emails related to those names. So we're going to have all these names here, Terry Hogan, Randy Savage, and the emails are going to be associated with each of the names. Also, we need to load an, our environment variables, and we obviously need to initialize our Nylas client so that we can access uh, the contacts and the email endpoint. So let's say what happens when we click here on the select or the combo box. It's going to go into a state set email name. So if we go here, we have a class called state, which is going to hold uh, the state of the app, all the important functions, all the variables, etc. So here we're going to have uh, some strings that are going to represent what we have on the form. So the recipient, name, email, etc. 
Uh, these are methods that we're going to use to update the fields. But let's first, let's see what happens when we uh, grab the combo box. So what this is going to do, it's just going to grab the name, and it's going to put it on the name field. And it's going to go into our emails array or list with that name. Oh, that's actually a dictionary, I think. And it's going to set the email. So when we select here, Bret Hart, it's going to put Bret Hart on the name. And it's also going to grab the email and put it on the email field. Then for anything else that we do, like for example, we type here, hello from Reflex. What is going to happen is that we actually need to grab that value and assign it to our subject variable in the state. Otherwise, it's going to disappear or, or it's not going to be taken into account. So it's important that we always do that. We always need to pass that value and say, like, hey, this is a value that you're going to use. It's not automatically for some reason. I think it's the way uh, Reflex just handles information. So once we have everything filled, and we present email. What is going to happen is that here we can see that we have a form data, which is a dictionary, and that's actually going to have all the information from our form. So we're going to create a draft. From that from data, we're going to grab the subject. We're going to grab the body. And if you want to take a look here, when we define them, we set an ID. So ID name, ID email, ID subject. And that way, we can access all the elements on our form. So when we go here, we're going to set the subject. We're going to set the body. And for the two, we're going to say this is the name of the person, and this is the email of the person. And we're going to try to send the email. We're going to say send. And if the try works correctly, we're going to say email was sent successfully. And let's fix the S here. Perfect. If there a problem or an exception, it's simply going to say an error occurred, and it's going to let us know uh, the message. And when the try and or the accept are done, our final is going to say just simply clean everything so that we can reduce it. Right? So um, here, we're going to say that we're going to create a reflex app, that we're going to uh, just the state that our page is going to be indexed and that we want to compile that. So once we run it, it's going to work like this. So if you can see, it's almost the same as we did with uh, Nice GUI. Obviously, it's a little bit different using Reflex. Uh, I'm going to say that I have a preference for Nice GUI. I like it a little bit more. Although this time with Reflex has haven't been that uh that hard i mean it was actually pretty good so they're both pretty nice uh let me remind you that we have live streams every wednesday and friday at 2 p.m eastern time and 11 a.m pacific time also don't forget to look for us on social we're on linkedin twitter streams tiktok and all that so we try to be everywhere and again, because it's never enough to let you know that please like and subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the most or the better videos we can do. And also, if you like our videos, uh, we're going to have, I guess, uh, we're going to be more searchable on YouTube. So please like the video. Just one click. If you like the video, we get happy. We produce more. Um, also, leave us your feedback. What did you like? What you don't like? What you would like to see in the show? If you would like to be a guest, just let us know. We'd love to get a guest here. So just let us know. Also, don't forget to go into developer.nylas.com, with which where all of our documentation lives. Uh, we're always happy to make the best documentation ever. And we need your feedback. We need your help in order to be able to do that. Um, let me see what else. So next week, we're going to have something nice. So we have done the same thing, which is 
kind of like creating a form to send an email using nice GUI, now using Reflex. So next week, we're going to be using Solara, which is another Python full stack framework, which is really nice. Uh, so we're going to be able to compare those three uh, in the end, right? So actually, we have separated this into three live streams. When the blog comes out, it's going to have all three. So you're going to be able to, to compare them in a better way. So that should be it for today. I hope you liked uh, today's episode. Uh, we're on episode 86. So we're closing to 100 episodes, which is going to be epic. So hope to see you on Wednesday. Take care.